what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel today is monday july 5th uh if y'all don't mind do me a favor raise a diet coke for my mother-in-law she passed away at the end of uh, january today was was her birthday uh so yeah just uh i got a diet coke for her um a little different to start out but uh thank you guys for clicking on this channel um today i am going to go up to Jeffersonville, Indiana for a round trip. Uh, yeah, it's quite a bit of a deadhead that's just north of the Louisville line, um, or north of Kentucky right there, just into Indiana. Uh, I'm down here outside of Nashville, so I got a nice little deadhead. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because this load pays a stupid good money. And uh, y'all know how I am with stupid good money. So this it, it says 40,000 pounds, but it's auto parts. So it could be 5,000 pounds. They just, they they sell the load at 40,000 pounds uh, so it could be up to that uh, but it's a, a load of auto parts for Ford going up to uh, Avon Ohio and then coming back with empty racks so should be a fairly seamless operation um, I've done loads like this before but I, I booked this load and it was supposed to be out of Nashville going up to Avon Ohio and back so the miles were showing a thousand and one miles um, and that was the Nashville to Avon and back, 1,001 miles. So realistically, I'm looking at like 1,024 miles, something like that. Um, the the actual load is out of Jeffersonville because they, the guy that, the agent that booked it, they own these loads. So it's a direct shipper load, which is really nice because they're guaranteed loads. They're not loads that the broker has and the broker's like oh, oh yeah well, well this load canceled and whatever um so he read the the load wrong put it in nashville which they do have a location in nashville that they ship from with the same customer so it was a miscommunication uh between the customer and the agent not a big deal um not that i'm super concerned with the load still pays the same the miles are still from here to there and back uh but in reality um, when I get empty in Jeffersonville, I can find a load from Jeffersonville to back home or to wherever. Or I might even be able to do another one of these loads. It just depends on what happens. Um, so there's some options there. Uh, it's an excellent load. We'll talk about the money here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, it is now... Let's see what time is it? Uh, it, it is almost 4 o'clock Central Time. I got to be there roughly 8.30, 9 o'clock Eastern. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem. Shoot up 231, uh, catch 65 up there in Horse Cave. No big deal. Um, God, I say I'm a lot. Jeez. I got all this stuff running through my head. I'm trying to make sure I say it so it sounds correct and not just a whole bunch of random words, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. So anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the 4th of July live stream that we did. Really enjoyed doing that for you guys. Um, Nashville was freaking amazing. Loved it. Take a shot every time I say um, guys. You guys will be freaking flat ass drunk within the first 10 minutes of this video. So, yeah. Don't don't have too much fun with that. I hope you guys all had a great 4th. Again, thank you to all the veterans. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. We appreciate you so much. Uh, you guys signed that check not knowing the cost, or, you know, or what the price is going to be written on it, and you're willing to do that. We absolutely appreciate it. And to those of you that don't like this country. Some of those feelings were expressed in that live stream and also in the comments afterwards. You can leave. You don't like it here? There's plenty of other countries you can roll out. You don't like shopping at a particular store? What do you do? You leave and you go somewhere else. That's perfectly fine. Works the same way with the country. You don't like America? You're not gonna stand behind our troops and support our, our troops? Then by all means, stand in front of them or go to another country, whatever. It's your, it's your choice. Uh, just don't sit here and run your mouth to how much you hate this country and how much you hate the people here when you can easily leave. If you don't like it, roll out. Anywho, we'll, uh, we'll get on the road here and get on down up there to Ford. Down, up there, up there, down there, over there, around there. We're going to go up to Jeffersonville because we're going north. Jeffersonville, Indiana, north of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, yeah. Maybe we'll run into some more subscribers. Maybe we'll run into uh, other YouTubers. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. But let's get on the road, guys.
right guys we are here and uh this load is a whole lot heavier than i thought it was <sighs> Forty-four thousand is like the actual weight it's not a suggested weight like it could be up to that no it is legitimately forty-four thousand pounds <sighs> man i just had to slide to tandems i haven't slid tandems and i don't know how long i haven't scaled a load and i don't know how long so I got 351 miles with this load. It pays really good. Um, most people would be all over it. I don't like heavy loads. My truck's got a lot of miles on it. It's just the, the heavier the load, the more stress on everything. Uh, you know, your brakes, your suspension, your drivetrain, your engine, all of it has a lot more stress. Not, not to mention your fuel mileage is gonna tank. But uh, at least this load pays really good. This is not my cup of tea. I don't like doing this. At least on the way back, it is going to be empty racks. So it's going to be, uh, let me show you guys. So if y'all see in there, there's like axles for, looks like like 3,500 pickup trucks uh, for Ford. I'm sure they, they sell, they make them for a lot of different companies. But if you see inside the doors, uh, there are a lot. I'll show you the back of the trailer when they get done as well. But um, So it's going to be axles, drive axles, it looks like. Probably even solid steer axles I don't, I don't maybe i don't know it's gonna be heavy y'all it's gonna be so heavy 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 and i don't like heavy but at least it's got a good money back in it um so we'll just say this so my my available up front on this load was uh just over 2400 dollars. so that's my allowable advance on this load and it's a round trip so I'm taking the loaded ones from here taking them up to Avon Ohio uh, it's gonna be probably a night run because it's getting later in the evening here it is uh, was it almost quarter till nine Eastern time so uh, it's gonna be a lot of late night running but I'll unload when I get there hopefully if not it'll be first thing in the morning and then just come back with the empty rack so I've done a lot of automotive uh, that's usually how it goes when it's a round trip loaded uh, racks there empty racks back um, but yeah that's uh should be an easy run uh, as long as this weight doesn't give me an issue um, they've been loading me I think they're almost done because it doesn't take long to load these huge racks you can only put so many in there um, I just I don't like all the weight that's it just gives me anxiety I don't like it I'm I'm not a huge fan of it but I'm here now, what am I gonna do? Turn around, go home, tell them no? Not gonna happen. I'll take it, deal with it. It'll all be good. I'll quit complaining and uh, when I get my bills, we will pull forward, see what the back of this thing looks like so you guys can actually see what I'm hauling and then uh, we'll get on the road. All right, so I lied. It's not 44,000. It's 46,069 pounds. So ignorant, so ignorant. Yeah. Get this door shut here. Show y'all what we're doing. Holy cracker jacks. We're full. Y'all do these all day? Um, usually, yeah, but we don't have anything since going out except you guys. Oh, okay. You have another one tomorrow, you know? Okay. Right on. I might do another one. I don't know. Depends on how this one goes. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Super nice people here. They got me loaded up real quick. So, we, uh, we need to get on the road, guys. I gotta find a scale. See if this crap's even legal. First, I'm gonna see if there's even a scale, like an actual DOT scale on my route. Uh, see if they're open. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll, uh, we'll find out. Let's, uh, let's get on down the road. All right, guys, we are here at the pilot. Uh, where am I at? Pendleton, Kentucky, uh, I-71 exit 28. This is the first scale I came across on my route. So I did go ahead and stop. While I was driving, I'm like, this load is heavy, but it's not nearly as heavy as I thought it was. And it's, uh, it's clearly not. I'm gonna show you all this scale here. 
Look at this. So we have 11,040 on the steer, uh, 30,008 on the drives, and then 31,080 on the tandems on the trailer. So um, 72,920 pounds gross. And I thought I'd be closer to 80 with a 46,000 pound load. So this load's gotta be, I'd say probably like 34, 35. Maybe 36,000 pounds uh, with the truck and trailer being empty. Half half a tank of fuel. Um, not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, so if I do another one, I definitely know that they're not as heavy. So, which is good news. Uh, I'm gonna get on the road, talk to my wife, and uh, see you guys down the road. Well, five and a half hours later, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, 0.8 miles out of this place. And I hope they're here. Good God, do I hope they're here. Because it is uh, it is currently uh, 3.11 a.m. So it's bright and early. Oh look, there's a beautiful pilot right there too. Um, there, no turn on red. Except curve lane. Hey, that's the lane I'm in.
All right, guys, got into this hole. Um, had a lot more room in it than I thought I did. Excuse the mess in here. It's uh, been pretty wild. But, uh, yeah, it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I got to be up at uh, 6.45-ish for 7 a.m. appointment. The receiving docks are literally right there in front of me where you've seen, so shouldn't be an issue. I know I got several trucks here. There are four trucks that have been here before me, so... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get up in the morning and, and run in and see if I can't get unloaded. Uh, I'll have to continue doing a, a 10, so uh, I'll just do what I gotta do to get in the dock. And then once I get unloaded, or reloaded, whatever, uh, I'll probably just repark over here and wait till my 10 is up. Or I will uh, do something, go over to the pilot that you've seen that's right over there at that exit. So get something figured out. Um, I'm tired, so I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to brush my teeth, uh, wash my face, and get in bed. So I'll see you all in the morning. Unloaded and reloaded, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh, it's too early for all this. That's good. You got me done pretty daggum quick. I like a double stack these things. So this is what we look like now. So it's going to be going back. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Yeah. I'm gonna go over here to the pilot. Cause I can't stay here. So I'm gonna have to safety move over to pilot cause I don't have the hours to do it on duty. So can't park here. I can legally use PC to go to a safe place to park. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. Go over to the pilot. Get back in bed. Cause I can't roll until like mm, one o'clock, anyways. One fifteen or somewhere in that area. So uh, you get over to pilot. I'm gonna shut it down, and I'll see y'all guys whenever we get rolling again or somewhere along the ride, something like that. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, ain't nothing like paying tolls. I love paying for roads. I love it. Double paying for roads, what is it? You got fuel tax and you got a toll. You can't go uh, this way without running a toll road. You got the bridge on 65, you got this one here on the, the 841. So, you got a toll road either way you go, but hey, it is what it is, right? Nice little tunnel there. We are uh, seven miles out from our delivery. I was hoping for another one of these loads. split up into 
two different loads. But the uh, the load is the all-in rate on this load. Crazy. I 
had to get a mic for this headset because I, I, I tried to use uh, different technology with that uh, and Bluetooth my headset to the different technology and it wound up like all you would hear is me so and you guys are complaining that you couldn't hear the truck you couldn't hear any of the natural sounds other than just my voice and y'all just don't like my voice that's fine I can put it on I gotta get a mic so you guys can still hear me and not hear the truck because I know y'all like to hear the sound of the truck. I like it too. It's gonna sound a whole lot better when we get some stacks put on this bad boy. What do y'all say? They're coming. They're coming. Everybody's out of stock on them right now. So, well, not everybody. I did find one place that had them and they wanted uh, almost 35% more than just about everywhere else but they had them in stock and I just I wasn't willing to unwilling to pay that it's a little too high so we'll get them a little cheaper there's a PO box in the uh, description down there just saying <laughs> yeah that's a really easy place to get to guys get this done before it starts pouring. So it looks like it might. Thank you. Oh wait, that's fine too. Let's uh, see what dock they want and uh, we'll get in it. Hi guys we made it obviously right y'all seen that already y'all already know it's all good just stay in the obvious captain obvious today y'all are welcome <laughs> we are uh man these guys are quick already getting me unloaded here uh they do have another one of these scheduled for 21 30 tonight but i don't think it's a landstar load i think it's somebody else that's supposed to pick it up uh i did text the agent to find out if it is theirs because if I could snag it, that'd be fantastic. Another $7,800 on this, well, five grand, whatever. Um, for the nice load, it's a really nice load. Well, it's heavier than I like, but it's all good. Uh, now, nah, what am I talking about? I already got a load scheduled. I can't, I'm an idiot, jeez, I'm a freaking idiot. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 
hey, uh, yeah, thanks. Can I take this load? Certainly, yeah, you can have this load. Great, thank you. Oh, hey, I can't take this load. I don't want this load. <laughs> that wouldn't work out too well, would it? I don't, I don't believe you'd be real happy with me. Uh, this guy that just backed up over here next to me recognized me. And uh, that was kind of cool. Right on. Uh, I'm probably going to chit chat with him for a few. Uh, but like normal, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Please hit that, uh, that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you like the content, I mean, please do. If not, you know, don't subscribe. I understand. Um, y'all stay safe out there. Please, please love one another. Let your family know you love them. You never know when it's going to be a last. And uh, y'all stay safe. Please stay safe out there, guys. It's getting crazier and crazier. People are crazy. Roads are crazy. Streets are crazy. Everybody's freaking crazy right now. Just uh, y'all be good. Please stay safe. Like I said, love one another. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't have too much fun out there now.